Hey, what's going on guys? Aldesha here and today I'm going to talk about Dollar Tree's action figure line called Final Faction. And here's what the card looks like. I can't quite get all of it into frame at one time. That's the Alpha Team 1 card right there. And as you see, we have regular figures and aliens over here, or soldiers and aliens. And here's the here's the back because I took the, um, the action figure off. The aliens are called the Karn. And if you're familiar with the old G.I. Joe um, action figures, they have a file card also where you can, you can cut off the card and save it, kind of like a G.I. Joe uh, file card right there. And let me introduce everybody here. This is, you can barely see him. I'll put him up there in the front. This is Steadfast. He's got some balance issues with this weapon on his hand right there. So I have to put his arm way back. And it's still kind of... Ah. And he's the only one that has a helmet that removes right there. There's his gorgeous face right there. And for the most part, these figures are five points of articulation. And I really like the fact that if you can see it, his trigger finger actually fits into, ah, into the trigger itself right there. And I'll flip them around on the other side. And you can kind of see his finger goes into the trigger right there. But this gun really um, makes him top heavy and it's really hard to balance them but that's steadfast then we have steel right here and he comes with the wings on the back you just pop it on it's it's a separate accessory we'll get him out of the way well, i've introduced those guys okay this is shift right there and she has the dual swords kind of like um, Deadpool right there. Then we have Ruck. This is Ruck and he has a backpack. I wish it would come into focus. Backpack and a shoulder mounted, I guess RPG, if you would call it that. The quality on these figures is pretty darn good for being a Dollar Tree um, item. And it is a Dollar Tree brand. And if you ever wondered how to figure that out, because they do have national brands. If you look at the back and it says distributed by Greenbrier International, those are all Dollar Tree brands. And they do have a QR code right there where you can scan it. And it'll take you to the video that they... Um, or the cartoon that they have. And it's, it's kind of like video game quality animation. It's pretty cool. And let me talk about this guy. He is drone right there. And he comes with a weapon of, of his own. This is Brute. He's the tallest one. He's about four and a half inches. Oh, I can't quite see him. He's about four and a half inches. And the shortest one's about three and a half. So four inches is the average height of these figures. And he also comes with a weapon right here. And last but not least, we have Synthoid. And I believe on his card, it said he has removable arms. And I'll show you why that's an important, because you can pull these arms out and pop them back in. Because these guys come with a bunch of accessories that you can purchase separately. And this is, I forgot to introduce this guy, ACRM, Augmented Combat Rescue Mech. And he's the hardest one to find. I had to go to three different stores to find him. He is definitely the shortest printed one. The back of his card is just like the others. He has a file card here. You can cut out, things like that. So I'm going to leave him in the package. Plus, I wanted to give you an, an idea of what they look like in the package. They don't have a... A little extra thing on the bottom where you can stand them up on a shelf. Definitely not. And they do come with a variety of um, accessories. You have a covert ops, covert ops package and all sorts of stuff. I didn't open them up 
just because there's too many little pieces to demonstrate and this and that, but that's what you get with the Covert Ops Alpha Team. One, the Mech Weapons Pack, Air Assault, right there. He's got some wings there and backpacks and all sorts of stuff like that. Then last but not least for the um, Alpha Team 1, Heavy Arms Pack. And a variety of guns right there. So you can mix and match pretty pretty well. And this is the, um, the Karn um, Weapons Pack Synthoid. The video or the, the animation that they made for this um, action figure line was about nine minutes long. It's it's good quality. It gives the characters kind of a backstory and um, it kind of points out their uh, personalities. So you have Quake Arms for the Karn right there. And like I said, there's way too many for me to take them out of the package and demonstrate them all. And we have Shock Arms weapons pack right there. And I think these are pretty cool. I mean, they're kind of in between a G.I. Joe and a, um, the uh, Walmart um, action figures that they had. The uh, military action figures. I can't quite remember the name right now. But um, definitely check them out. Um, if you're in, on a budget but you want to have some action figures, definitely the way to go. And like I said, these are only a dollar. So the next time you buy... A react action figure at um, Target for $18. <laughs> um, 17 of that is just for the brand that they're promoting. So that yeah, that's just a quick look at the um, final faction action figure line from Dollar Tree. Thanks for watching and have a good day.